Hello guys, this is Ned Mist and today we have finally reached the last Beyblade for the Indian releases. Now after this we only have one launcher which is left that is a string launcher. So as soon as it arrives, I will surely purchase it and uh, do the review on it. So basically now we have last which is Nightmare Longinus. I had kept this last. Basically uh, it's one like my favorite Beyblades and totally awesome. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It arrived last, so it's getting unboxed last. So that's it. There is no favoritism there. I do like this Beyblade a lot, but it just uh, when I was ordering, it was not available, and uh, like it was last to get available, so it's getting last for unboxing also. So basically, you, as for the back of the box, you can see the best thing and. Uh, the simplistic design is that there are only two parts. There is no. What do you say? The force disc in between. You obviously can put the layer, uh, not the layer. What do you say? The frame on the layer. So I would show you that in the next, like in the what do you say? Progressing of the video. I'm like really lost of. I don't have some words to like express my feelings sometimes. So it's fine. Let's unbox, and we'll just remove this tape here which would make the unboxing really easy how big the tape is yeah so let's take out the beyblade from oh well there is one more tape yeah there, there was a small tape there so it's like oh my god louis face got chipped off damn that's so sad there Oh my god, that's that's really sad. Louis face got chipped off there, but it's <laughs> so basically uh, this Beyblade is like very simplistic and yet very powerful. So these stickers are really appealing with the purple and the golden accents, like awesome looking but really small, so they can really peel off very easily. As said by Renegade also in his videos, uh, in his video which he had just uh, posted. A couple of days back, if I remember correctly. So let's take this Beyblade out, and as you can see, this Beyblade has two of the white thingies, basically to hold it in place. I think uh, that itself shows how powerful this Beyblade is. So let's remove this from the box and that's the layer that layer is like super bulky i'm just not going to remove the proto launcher just forget it oh my god that's so hard to remove sometimes it gets really irritating but uh, it's fine i would just uh, remove it anyways it's like getting something ah yes so that's out there uh, what's the Hold out there. Oh my god. As you can see, uh, it, it it has got stuck here. So we'll just get rid of that. And basically that's the driver, a free spinning driver there, which is known as Destroy. So it's like uh, bringing Eldrago memories back. Like the last Beyblade of Eldrago was uh, Eldrago Destructor or Eldrago Destroy, so basically the driver is named after uh, Eldrago, I am like sh pretty much sure Takarodami had thought about this. So let's take a look at the Beyblade, first the driver, the driver has really great LED because of this free spinning tip and it accelerates at great speeds and is really great for attack also and for stalling also, so it's like a very versatile driver there, like really awesome, I really love this driver. And uh, I still remember when I first unboxed this Beyblade from Japanese uh, release, I was unable to put this Beyblade and I had uh, named that unboxing as uh, failed unboxing. So it was really hilarious at the time. Basically, I love this Beyblade uh, because the gimmick on this Beyblade actually works. So I'm just going to put the Beyblade together and show you the gimmick. So basically, now these two points are together and these two points are together. So once you start losing clicks at the last click, it holds the Beyblade and the entire weight shift here, shifts here. So you get a very chunky and huge attack point here, 
which uh, is like a double edged sword where you can also hit the opponent and burst it or you can lose your own quick click and be bursted yourself so basically 90% of the time you are able to burst your opponent so basically the best combo with this is a bump frame which you have to add and uh, i think soon arc bahamut will be released in india and you can get the bump frame with it so there will be the bump frame and then you have extreme driver or variable or hunter hunter is really slow i would prefer extreme or variable variable is really hard to control as like it gets awakened and that time you really mess up with the launch like if you launch too hard you are uh, risking yourself self ko and if you launch too softly you are risking of not doing anything so basically it's like a really it increases the skill cap a lot if you are using the variable rather than extreme hunter is like a very slow driver where you gradually hit the bay blade and can sometimes fail miserably so extreme i would say is a very safer choice and uh, if you use extreme then you can pretty much uh, practice 2 to 3 times and memorize the angle at which you launch to get a perfect launch every time and you can just ko or push out even spriggan requiem on bearing and so well like it's really great the beyblade is really awesome it does uh, what do you say compete with the chose its beyblade also like which are released now and like it's really awesome till now so like the bloody longness of this beyblade which was the evolution of this beyblade was really awful and horrible and miserable like uh, the design was changed to lost longness which was uh, eu like legit eu so i am really hoping that uh, they would do nightmare chozy longness to be the chozy in the sense the after the chozy valkyrie and chozy spring and the nightmare longness which comes should be in this design with more metal and something close to this design which would be really awesome rather than that shitty looking uh, bloody longness which was not even red in color which was my uh what do you say one of the most grievances which i had like it's a bloody longness you are saying it's bloody so make it at least red so basically fine deviating from the point nightmare longness is really a game changer you must buy this beyblade just get a obelisk guardian and you will get the extreme driver and if you have some cash to spend you can get the bump frame from anyone who is selling arc bahamut for like i had sell arc bahamut for 600 and 700 rupees so it's really easy to get a bump frame and uh, oh well that's it so stay tuned guys for the next videos which are surely going to be battle videos in uh, i have decided a very special stadium which i which i will show you in the next video for sure so stay tuned guys take care and bye bye